Hello and welcome to Travel Tips and Tricks. I'm your guide to explore Italy. We've got a fantastic journey ahead, packed with fascinating places to visit, delicious local cuisines to savor, and essential tips to make your visit simply unforgettable. We'll also delve into some cultural do's and don'ts and share some insider hacks to make the most of your time. So buckle up and get ready for an unforgettable adventure. Italy is famous for its rich history, stunning architecture, and breathtaking landscapes. Let's dive into the top 20 places you simply can't miss. Welcome to the magical city of Matera, our number 20. This city's fascinating sassy district's ancient cave dwellings are a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. Once a symbol of poverty, these caves have been transformed into charming abodes and businesses. Coming in at number 19, we have the mesmerizing Lake Como. Nestled in the foothills of the Alps, it offers a tranquil retreat, complete with picturesque villages and grand villas lining its shores. Next up, the enchanting city of Verona secures the 18th spot. Known as the City of Love, home to Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, Verona is much more than a romantic hotspot. Its well-preserved Roman arena and medieval old town are sure to captivate any history buff. At number 17, it's the mesmerizing Amalfi Coast with its cerulean seas, terraced vineyards and pastel-colored villages stacked precariously on steep cliffs. It's a paradise for those seeking natural beauty and a laid-back vibe. Number 16 takes us to the heart of the Renaissance Florence. This city is a treasure trove of art and architecture with the iconic Duomo and the Uffizi Gallery stealing the limelight. At 15 we have the bewitching city of Bologna. Known for its delectable food, it's also home to the world's oldest university. In the 14th place we have the beautiful island of Capri. Famous for its rugged landscape, upscale hotels and shopping, it's an ideal destination for luxury seekers. For number 13, it's the awe-inspiring city of Turin. With its regal palaces, verdant parks and world-class museums, Turin offers a unique blend of culture and charm. Number 12 is the vibrant city of Naples. Famous for its rich history, stunning architecture and of course the birthplace of pizza, Naples is a city that never fails to delight. Coming in at number 11 we have the extraordinary Cinque Terre. Five brightly colored villages perched on rugged cliffs overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, a sight to behold. Number 10 takes us to the stunning city of Palermo. Full of historical landmarks and a vibrant street food scene, Palermo is a cultural melting pot. At number 9 we have the magical city of Siena. Known for its medieval brick buildings and the famous horse race Il Palio, Siena is a city steeped in tradition. Number 8 brings us to the romantic city of Venice. With its winding canals, gondolas and historic landmarks like St. Mark's Square and Doge's Palace, Venice is like no other city in the world. Securing the seventh spot we have the enchanting city of Genoa. Its labyrinthine old town and bustling port offer a captivating mix of the old and the new. At number six we have the fascinating city of Milan. Known for its high fashion and impressive landmarks like the Duomo and the Last Supper, Milan is a city that exudes style and sophistication. Number five takes us to the heart of Italy, Rome. With its ancient ruins, awe-inspiring art and vibrant street life, Rome is a city that captivates at every turn. Coming in at number four is the stunning island of Sardinia. With its turquoise sea, white sandy beaches, and rugged mountains, Sardinia is a paradise for nature lovers. Number three takes us to the city of Pisa. Famous for its leaning tower, Pisa offers much more. Its vibrant student community, beautiful squares, and charming riverside scenes make it a must visit. At number two, we have the breathtaking city of Verona. With its impressive Roman ruins, stunning medieval and Renaissance architecture, and world-class opera, Verona is a city that truly has it all, and the number one spot goes to, stay tuned to find out. Italy is a paradise for food lovers. Here are three typical local dishes you must try. Let's start with the world-renowned Pizza Napolitana. Originating from Naples, this divine creation is a heavenly blend of ripe tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, basil and olive oil on a thin, soft and chewy crust. You can find it in authentic pizzerias all over Italy. Next on our list is pasta carbonara. This Roman classic is a mix of al dente spaghetti, creamy egg yolks, crispy pancetta, and a generous sprinkle of pecorino romano cheese. It's a dish that's sure to make your taste buds sing. Last but certainly not least is tiramisu. This popular dessert is a scrumptious layering of ladyfingers soaked in coffee, rich mascarpone cream, and a dusting of cocoa. You'll find the best tiramisu in the cafes of Venice, so make sure to come with a big appetite. When it comes to money matters, it's always good to be prepared. 
Let's talk about Italy's currency and some currency exchange tips. In Italy, the official currency is the euro, which is used throughout most of Europe. Now, when it comes to exchanging your money, there are several options. Banks and post offices usually offer the best exchange rates but they are often crowded and their operating hours may not be convenient. On the other hand, exchange bureaus found in airports and tourist areas are open longer, but they often have higher fees and less favorable rates. So, it's a trade-off. Also, be aware of common scams like short-changing or high commission fees. Always count your money before leaving the counter and check the receipt for any hidden charges. Credit cards are widely accepted in Italy, but it's always smart to have some cash on hand for smaller establishments. With these tips, you'll be able to navigate Italy's currency like a pro. Wondering when to pack your bags? Let's talk about the best time to visit Italy. The ideal time is during spring, from April to June, and fall, from September to October. The weather is pleasantly warm, and the tourist crowds are thinner. You can also enjoy local events like the Wine Harvest Festival in Tuscany. Winter is great for skiing in the Alps and exploring Christmas markets. However, avoid peak summer months as it can get quite hot and crowded. Choosing the right time to visit can make your trip even more memorable. While exploring it's important to respect local customs and traditions. Here are some things to avoid doing in Italy. First, don't ask for extra cheese. Italians believe in the perfect balance of flavors, and adding extra cheese can be seen as insulting to the chef. Second, avoid drinking cappuccino after noon. This frothy coffee treat is typically enjoyed only in the mornings. Third, remember, Italians are fashion conscious. Walking around in workout clothes or beachwear outside of the gym or the beach can draw some disapproving looks. Fourth, don't schedule museum visits for Mondays. Many museums close on this day so plan accordingly. Finally, don't rush through your meals. Dining in Italy is a leisurely affair meant to be savored. It's not just about the food, it's about the experience, the conversation, the ambiance. Remember when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Now, let's share some insider secrets to make the most of your Italian adventure. First off, let's talk about saving money. Italy can be pricey, but there are ways to ease the strain on your wallet. Opt for off-peak travel, dine where the locals do, and don't be afraid to explore beyond the tourist zones. Next, how to avoid the crowds. The secret is timing. Visit popular attractions early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the tourist rush is at a minimum. Lastly, to experience Italy like a local, immerse yourself in the culture. Attend local festivals, learn a few Italian phrases, and try out the local transportation. Remember, it's not just about seeing Italy, it's about experiencing it. So don't just go, live it. With these hacks, your Italian adventure will be unforgettable. Well, that wraps up our guide to exploring Italy. We've journeyed through 20 must-see spots, savored three delectable dishes, navigated the local currency, pinpointed the best travel season, and shared insider tips to respect local customs and elevate your experience. We hope you're as excited as we are to embark on this Italian adventure. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to share your own Italian adventures in the comments below. Arrivederci.